The world of Secret Empire saw some big things happen in the last couple of weeks, not just in the main Secret Empire book, but also the multiple tie-ins for it. In Captain America Sam Wilson issue 23, Sam continues his smuggling operation, helping out in humans and people wishing to flee from Captain America's iron grip on America. What was left of the Avengers come looking for him to help find the Cosmic Cube fragments. Their mission takes them up against the Mole Man as well as Hydra's killer robot. Bots. Over in Secret Warriors issue 3, Miss Marvel's team meets with the X-Men, who aren't all too interested in helping them look for the child that could save the Inhuman race. Eventually they wind up in Dark Beast's secret lab where Quake wishes to interrogate Hank, causing moral unrest in the team. Their own infighting is only stopped with the arrival of Hydra and the rest of the X-Men. Secret Empire United issue 1 caught up with more of the X-Men as they launch small attacks on Hydra from within New Titan, their own safe haven. This garners the attention of Superior Octopus, the new and improved Otto Octavius, as well as Steve Rogers himself who sends his own team to deal with the mutants and their leader Zorn, who is actually being manipulated by Emma Frost from behind the scenes. US Avengers Issue 7 also saw more attacks on Hydra as Roberto's team deals with the Captain's betrayal as well as mind-controlled Red Hulk. Iron Patriot sacrifices her escape so Squirrel Girl and Enigma can make an escape to Paris, where they are rescued by Captain Britain, Ares and his team. Captain America Steve Rogers Issue 18 sees the good Captain deal with the threat of Atlantis and Wakanda, but also dealing with the United Nations who he tells to stay out of his country's affairs and any further intervention will be met with force. Something T'Challa and Namor don't take kindly seeing as Steve is sending forces to steal their cosmic cube fragments from their homelands. Every week, the Secret Empire tie-ins do a fantastic job of world-building in Cap's new Hydrified America. I've said it before and I'll say it again that the tie-ins for this event are some of the best tie-ins an event from Marvel or DC have had in a while, since pretty much all are their own stories that inform the main event and vice versa. I hope that even though Secret Empire, for some reason, keeps getting extra issues added onto it, as well as some slight delays here and there, that it doesn't sour the quality of these tie-ins. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you'll check out my other reviews of comics out this week. You can also catch myself and Joel from Cape Joel in our weekly podcasts, Cape TV and the Comic Multiverse over on his channel, the Weekly Pool Archive channel, and on SoundCloud. Links to them can be found in the description below. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and if you're feeling a touch generous, I have a cyber tip jar set up. Just follow the links below, and until next time, I am Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, and I will see you in another video. Here.